Okay, we are live. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Microphone's working. Desktop should also be working. Da -da -da. And just really quickly, guys, basically what I'm just going to be doing is I'm just making sure that everything's going okay on my end. I don't want my stream to be lagging like it did the one time, like a little bit recently. It was just probably a fluke, but you never know. So boom, 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 boom. That's all checked off. That's all checked off. Literally just making sure that everything's working. Okay. Now, might as well just check this as early as I can. Okay, my overlay is working. So it shouldn't be freaking the fuck out. So, boom, boom. I need to check my phone. Hi, Gogeta. Oop. Thank you for four viewers, everybody. John, I'm planning an invasion of your ass in my closet. Could have said uh, something better, but I gotta roll with it now. <laughs> Uh, well, just so you know, Gogeta, when I said that I was making a, a, a interactive story called Invasion, I wasn't implying that it was with my ass, so... I think you're a little bit misconstrued about that. Jade's being held hostage at the museum. <laughs> Gogeta, there's no multiple endings where one of the endings you're invading my ass, I'm just saying. I gotta get in there before Jade gets hurt. But, uh, Gogeta, let me know how you are today, uh, I hope that you're having a good day. And I hope that you look forward to seeing some dying lights. I've also seen that we've got uh, D1 or uh, Nye. Uh, Nye, I believe you said your name was Marcus, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, please forgive me if that's completely wrong. I'm trying my best to remember all the new people we've been getting lately. Um, but I believe that that's correct. But uh, yeah, uh, we're playing some dying light here again today, friend. And I hope that you are well. It's Marcus? Okay, good. Hey, I remembered. Yay. Is there an ending of me in the closet? Maybe. But, uh, no, yeah, Marcus, I'm, I'm glad that I remembered your name. The only reason why I say that, my friend, is just because, like, I'm not necessarily the best with names, but I have gotten better about it, and I've also gotten better at remembering more people. But naturally, in, in human psychology, it's just a proven fact that we can only remember so many names at a given time, at least initially, without temporarily forgetting the other ones to switch spots. And uh, we've been getting more and more followers as of late, so I just, I'm trying my best to make sure I remember your name's Marcus and I don't call you like fucking Betty. <laughs> Hello, Betty, how are you? It's so nice to also be able to have a grappling hook in this game now. It's like so convenient just to zip around like Spider Man. That's my name, bitch. Alright, so guys, here we go. So we are gonna be heading to the top of the- fuck. Ah! Uh, chat, you did not see that. We are going to be heading to the top of the museum and trying to rescue, uh, Jade, is what I was trying to say. Okay. So they're at the very, very top of this museum. Did you ever go back for that shotgun? Uh, no, I've never gone back for that shotgun yet. I can go back for the shotgun. I just don't remember where it would be. Because it was a part of a, a mission, you know? I, uh, I didn't do the research for the shotgun because it wasn't on my mind. Hmm. I would like to believe you can go back for it later. I mean, is the area completely locked otherwise? I mean, it's like already locked now even? Like, here, let me uh, really, really quickly look this up. I, I understand that this is kind of spontaneous, but you are kind of right about that, Goji. Let me, let me take a look. Uh, how to get a shotgun in Dying Light 1. Here's hoping that it will just let me even go back in the first place.
Yeah, no, we're, we're gonna do it later. I, I'm, I'm being, uh, bad of a streamer right now. I, I can't get in the habit of doing this, like, oh, I forgot something, so I need to, like, look it up, and then I interrupt the stream. I, I'll just get it later. I have a bad habit of doing that, where I'm like, oh, well, this is, uh, this is something that just randomly appeared in my mind. I just need to drop everything I was doing. I do that way too much. We're just gonna be doing the mission. If I find the shotgun, I find the shotgun. If I don't find the shotgun, I, I have like a purple AR and like several pistols and assault rifles at this point. I apologize. I'm working on breaking this habit of just interrupting my streams and pausing just to look up shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, hey Daddy John, how are you? I am doing good, Zion. How are you here today? Thank you for six years in the chat, by the way, everybody. I hope you're looking forward to some Dying Lights where we try to rescue Jade. So... Here we are, we're in a safe zone. You, if you're looking for food, you've got to wait and get your rations like everyone else. Well, that's not why I'm here. I'm Crane. I'm a runner. Anything I should be looking for out there? We're pretty much out of everything. Food, water, medicine. You wouldn't expect Old Town to be poorer than the slums, but it is. Got to admit, it makes me wonder about those rumors of a big supply cache hidden somewhere in the city. Too bad the one person who'd know if it's true is David Erzl. You can't get anything out of him. Where do I find him? Across town. He's not dangerous. He's just difficult. He's the former town clerk, and he can be extremely uh, bureaucratic about things. Okay. Try not to kill him. But Try not to kill him. Got it. I'll totally understand. I'll keep that in mind going into this with this new side quest, and then we got trade. It's funny how that these guys are technically like right above Rise's place and so haven't honey. done anything. I am Badgeram. I'm not much. Hi, Badgeram. But I'm a man who can put money in your pockets, real money. My scout locates viable predators and the runner. Is this literally just side quests, guys? They will then pursue you until you either give them the slip or they eat your head. Both are acceptable outcomes for me. So how much? Uh, since you're just getting started, your reward would be small. But that amount would increase as your success... Oh, you're making an SMP for Minecraft? Nice, Zion. Absolutely awesome. That's very, very cool, man. I'm, I'm still glad that you uh, found interest in Minecraft. It's cool because, like, I noticed, uh, like, when sometimes I play a certain game, I noticed that you guys still keep um, playing it, which is very cool. What do you want? We don't have anything here but a few scraps of food. Oh, wait! This is the, uh, specifically the guy I need to talk to to get that, uh last weapon blueprint that god hammer it's this guy relax troy sent me troy oh, thank god i've been a nervous wreck since i found this kid he's got nobody to look out for him i'm not so good with kids you know that's not why i'm here but troy promised she'd send mm. someone i need to get into the museum the museum but troy told me someone would come to help she promised. Okay, Tariq, you, you tell me how to get into the museum, and maybe I can sort out your problem. Oh, okay, so this mission for the weapon is tied to the museum. Good. Which means that I'm not going to be taking away from the story trying to find the weapon. And then if anybody would know a way in, it would be you, so how do I do it? <laughs> do you have scuba gear, perhaps? <laughs> no. No. Too bad. There's an entrance under the surface of Emerald Pond, but it would be a long swim under the water. You would most likely drown. Yeah, well, most likely isn't definitely, so guess I'll give it a try. I guess I'm going to be swimming underwater then. There's got to be probably a spot to breathe air, I would hope. So, oh, there is a player stash here. Is it nighttime yet? That's what it looks like it's going to be. I'm going to sleep here just because uh probably be better that way. He just showed up. He barely talks, and when he does, he says some strange things. A lot of it is about someone named Mike. The only Mike. Thing he had with him was this voice recorder, but this fella, Mike. Yo, was that Michael Afton from FNAF? Kid says he left him behind. He asked me to go get him, but I don't think I can do it. It's too dangerous to take him with me, and I don't want to leave him here alone. You know where he lived? Dolma Street, Unit Eleven Two. Okay. Maybe I'll check it out. Keep this recorder. Maybe it'll help you understand what happened there. <laughs> that's a, that's actually kind of funny about the uh, the D's nuts joke, as I and I, I like that. That that was actually clever. Yeah, it's about to become night, so literally I can just use this sleeping bag because I hear the watch beeping. So I think it just became night, right? 
Yeah, night is coming. So we wait till morning. That's not the only person that's coming. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, that was a little bit gross. So night survived. So now my guess is that we have to get this taken care of by going to this underwater entrance to get to the museum. And then that's how we actually end up getting to where Rise's guys are. So this is find the underwater entrance in Emerald Pond to get into the museum. Now, the one thing I do want to look up real quick, because this is absolutely easy, because I have it already as a video in my uh, watch list, is the, the last game locate or the last weapon location. Oh, Solid, I also realized that you joined the Twitch because I'm looking at it over here on my phone. Hi, Solid. I'm, for some reason, you didn't appear on my overlay. I wish this chat overlay that I have, like, with my hotkey that you can't see right now because, for some reason, it just won't show up in this particular game. I wish that the uh, overlay here would scroll, but it doesn't. But uh, it's good to see you, man. I hope that you're well. How are you? I'm just looking up this last legendary weapon on how to find it, guys. This is easy because uh, it's called the God Hammer, and it looks like you just have to accept chasing the past side quest in order to access this. So chasing the past. Do I have that now as a side quest? Chasing the past. Yep, chasing the past. So if I track it, it should just automatically put me to this next location I need. You know what I mean? So, I don't even think I necessarily needed to work that hard to uh, be able to figure out where to go. So here, let me, let me see. Map. Yep, there we go, it relocated it, so boom. But yo, everyone, I hope that you are well. Uh, I hope that you guys are having a good day today despite world events that have been going on. And, uh, if I can bring you guys any little bit of uh, entertainment and, uh, you know, fun content, I definitely am going to. Uh, just one thing, though, is that I would like to mention is that I, I know that we already know about what happened with the Ukraine and Russia recently. It's, it's, it's very easy nowadays to let information spread quickly. Um, but the one thing I ask is just that of today, at least specifically... Um, until I figure out what I would like to say is deemed acceptable... Uh, like on the channel, uh, I would like to just avoid that topic altogether. Uh, specifically, at least on the Twitch and the YouTube. On Twitter and on Discord, all that stuff, that's fine. But uh, on here, I uh, I want to like do some things such as temporarily like retire the Russian men joke that we've been having going on lately for the last little bit. Uh, because I feel like that, that would just be rude and insensitive at the moment. And uh, also at the same time as well, I just want to figure out what... Uh, Twitch would also deem as unacceptable as well, because I don't want to get banned. Because uh, talking about world events sometimes on these platforms is a little risky. So, all I'll just say is, my friends, is that uh, I hope that you guys are well, and hopefully we can uh, find some time to just be able to look at the bright side of things and uh, even have a little bit of fun on some games. Now, what about the zip line? How the hell did I get to the zip line through? I grabbed the zip line like on the opposite half of this thing. Am I stream lagging on my uh, my phone here? That ain't good. Normally, it's actually my uh, my laptop that's laggy shit. Oh, you want to know what? It's probably NordVPN. For some reason, I don't know why, but NordVPN messes up streams. Like, lately. Here. Yeah, see, I turn off NordVPN and then it works again. Don't know why, it just does. Must be something to do with the connection. Did this reach that far? Here, let me see if this grappling hook reaches. I love this grappling hook, by the way. This grappling hook and dying light is making things so much easier. The flying squirrel suit that we got was cool. Don't get me wrong, but this is just so much better. I really don't know what part of the story that we're in because, like, I played it before and I think I know what's coming up and I don't want to spoil it, but, like, I don't know if it is actually the part that I think it is. Where do I find my progress bar? Here we go. 70% of the story. 
So yeah, of the main story, other than the side quests, we're actually uh, pretty far into it. I thought that this was going to be a lot longer of a game for some reason. Because the way I played it beforehand, I remember it being longer, but I think that's just because I specifically took my time with it. And I, I also didn't play as much. Like, now I'm actually legitimately playing this as a walkthrough game. Because before when I would play Dying Lou with my buddies, it was just a lot of grinding. Uh... Why is there, like, three bosses right here in the center of town? And why are they all, like, fighting all the zombies? Uh... Oh, fuck! That scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to dip. I have legitimately no idea why the hell there's so many damn bosses in the, in the center of this town over here. Zip across. There's a supply drop over there. Now that's a supply drop. Because I think it's a supply drop. Why is there just a random flare? It's you, Crane. I've seen your face on the posters. Oh, it's him. To help me. What happened to you? I took a bullet from Razor's men. I'm a runner too. Well, almost. Look. I'm out of commission. Can you help me out? I need you to finish this run for me. Hey, look, I'll get you to a shelter or something, but I've got other things to take care of. You don't have anything more important than this, I guarantee it. All right. Tell me what you got. The source of the epidemic. Where? David can show you. He Did this just start a mission? I just wanted to only accept the side quest. The rest is on you. When you've got it all, take it to David. He'll tell you everything. You'll find him at the Royal Canal. Tell him Spider sent you. What about you? I've got a safe house nearby. I'll be fine. Just help to read. That's all that matters. All right, chat. So I think that we just only accepted the quest. Thank God. So that's his bag. Now I still am going to be doing this one side quest that's right here. I'm still wanting to do the streets, and we and we still got to rescue Jade. We've been postponing the mission with Jade for a while, so. There's a flying squirrel suit? Uh, yeah. Uh, in the game, if I were to go over to, um, here, you see this one suit over here? If I, uh, use one here to activate this, um, it's a flying squirrel suit. So what happens is that whatever your key button would be, uh, if you jump and then you push it in, you kind of like do this glide motion and, uh, basically makes it where you have like basically a flying squirrel suit. You actually get it from an area that has a Mario Easter egg, and you run through, like, a Mario world. It's actually quite cool. I did that in the last stream. Um, but now I just use the grappling hook because it's just functionally better. <laughs> okay, uh... Hmm. Testing, testing. Testing. Okay, the stream's in sync. I was worried that my voice was out of sync with my, my stuff because when you mentioned the flying squirrel suit, it was a while from when I last said that, so I was just not sure what was going on there. So get inside. So this should allow us to get the god hammer. Okay, so here we go. So let's see if we can get this hammer, Chad, and then we gotta rescue Jade. And then I think that we have to go to another location again from there to get any more weapons. I think this is the last one in Old Town. A little ominous. Find apartment at Dalma Street, 11-2. Probably else just be loot here in general. Ooh, a sickle. Nice. This is sketchy. This is, like, really quiet. Chat, you ever have it, like, where you legitimately have a moment where it's, like, it's so peaceful you think you're gonna get, like, jump-scared? That's one thing that's happening right here. Like, listen. The only thing you can hear is, like, the random creak of the floor. 
Like, just from the house. Other than the random house creaking, just from it, like, being, like, all, like, sh like, shriveled and, like, destroyed. It's, like, super fucking quiet. I hear a, a clock. It, oh my god, this is actually unnerving. Why is it so damn quiet? I, I hear a clock ticking, but that's like the only thing that's like breaking up the silence. Detective Julie and his assistant begin their search for the missing person of Dolma Street. Oh, come on, you have to help me. Dad's been out all day. Come on, we're going to find him. The missing person of interest went out very normally to get some food, only to become missing under mysterious circumstances. All right, boys, you were playing detective. What happened next? Did anyone also hear that chittering sound? Like, like after she would like speak, on like every single sentence, there would be a like a, like a breathing sound, like a like an out of breath run sound. Oh, I thought that was a finger. Search the apartment. So we're playing Clue, huh? All right, Marcus. All right, Gogeta. All right, Zion. Everybody now. Let's see if we can play a little bit of detective while I, I apparently I'm eating a chocolate bar. <laughs> There's the other apartments. Yeah, they're making this like all like uh sussy. Like they're trying to like make it where like I'm literally playing Clue. Hmm. Hmm. This place is empty. Wanna go upstairs, maybe? Flat number three is locked. Maybe the strange man who lives there has seen something, or maybe he saw too much. We will interrogate him later. Yeah, there's this chittering sound constantly. It's not locked anymore. This is actually really fucking unnerving. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but this is really fucking creepy. The the occasional random breathing on the mic and it being like just completely silent with certain music and this black and white filter is just fucking creepy i'm i'm so going to get fucking jump scared i know it i'm actually legitimately fucking creeped out why is it so goddamn creepy I have no idea when this game became a detective game. That Your guess is as good as mine. I don't remember this mission, to be honest. I don't know if I ever did it. What the actual hell? Oh, I just realized it said check the basement the entire time. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, great. So now I got to check the basement. This is absolutely not going to be the death of me. Everything great happens in the basement. 
Of all places. <laughs> Can I turn the light on? Or is the light already on? Okay, what now? Dude, that chittering sound is just weird. Is, is this the person she's following or interviewing or something? I have no idea. Like, I, I'm legitimately trying not to make this, like, creepier than it needs to be. But it's just something is, uh... See, this is one of the reasons why I also like this game in general. Is because it can creep you out without having to jump scare you. It's the illusion that there's a jump scare coming that's the creepy part. Like, they're setting it up to make you think you're going to have one that never shows up. Which is really when the ultimate scare factor comes in, is because like if they can get into your mind, think like if they can make you think a jump scare is coming up without ever needing to put one in, that's when they win. That's how you really do horror: is thinking there's something there that's not really there. Or another quote that I can reiterate is that uh, people aren't afraid of being uh, in the dark with. Uh, oh, sorry. People aren't afraid of being alone in the dark. People are afraid of not being alone in the dark. People just don't want to be. Uh, with something and not know what it is. Two rooms left. I'm gonna go with the one with the blood stain last <laughs> of all places. Which uh, seems to be now. Search apartment three for the basement keys. Isn't this apartment three? Search apartment three for the basement keys. Is it upstairs? Apartment three. Hold on, chat. I got an idea. That's two. That's one. Why is the music like... Ew. Basement keys. Dude, they're getting, like, really fucking creepy with this. Like, why are they playing, like, music that feels like I should run? You hear, like, duh, 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 duh. So it sounds like fucking Michael Myers Jaws music. They actually really know how to put, like, a lot of suspense into this. Like, Jesus. This is actually really fucking unnerving. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, that... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, chat, uh, fair warning, um, I had no idea that that was what I was going to expect to see. This is so going to get me in trouble if I try to upload this. Uh, chat, fair warning to look away now if you don't want to see a dog. Uh, I'm just saying, because that's what was on the table over there. And, uh, I don't know if you saw the glance, uh, but it's not pretty. Uh, so warning now. Oh, poor kiddo. Oh. Oh. God. And that was Mike. What the fuck is this room? See, I played this game of all games because I thought there was nothing that was going to get me in trouble. Like, oh my god, that's gruesome. Dude, I had to deal with an episode where there was a zombie baby. Now I got the mutilated dog on the table. Like, Jesus Christ. 
I accidentally didn't realize how much this game was gruesome more than I, I remembered. I try my best not to upload anything that could get me in trouble, but that's pretty fucking gory. <laughs> and just kind of fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I get that Twitch's policy is a lot more forgiving than YouTube's. Um, but I gotta still re-upload this to YouTube later. <laughs> Oh, just god damn it. I guess it's something we just have to deal with. It's never gonna be a, a perfect situation. Did I gotta investigate the dog? God damn it. Oh Mike was the dog. Oh that that explains the sniffings. Wait, who the fuck are you? Did you do this, you sick fuck? Yeah, this fucker did this! Fuck you, asshole! What do you, what do you where do you get off from, huh? Fuck you! The kill the cannibal. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Case closed. There's the hammer. God, God damn it, you sick fucker. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're an asshole, you know that? Ugh. Ah, rip, Fido. Well, I got the hammer. God damn it. All right. Oh, well, well, I guess chat, I guess we're done with that mission now. So hopefully there's nothing else like that. Cause like, like I said, Twitch is more forgiving with what you put on their channel, obviously, but, uh, I still got to re-upload this to YouTube and, uh, I just hope that YouTube doesn't give me too much shit for it. Hopefully if I self demonetize it, they'll let it go. Cause I, I don't want to kill my channel by uploading more and more riskier stuff. This was just kind of a freak accident. It's the reason why, like, for certain games, like the other God of War games, uh, I didn't upload them because they had, like, for example, like, graphics, sex, and nudity. And certain things like this, like the dog and the zombie baby, that's also another type of set of stuff that just you shouldn't upload. Um, it's a fluke, I guess, that I forgot that some things were in here and that I didn't even know some other things were in here because I try my best to not play games that even have this in the first place. Um... So don't let this be like a standard. Don't expect that, oh, because I have this game here where it was a lot worse than I thought it was that I'm going to purposely do that in the future. Uh, this is not saying like, okay, because I did it now and I, I was fine and didn't get in trouble that I'm going to continue to do that. Just know that I'm uh, probably going to have to avoid certain games for a reason. Yeah, no, that was a lot of angry shots. Well, I mean, who would not want to fucking kill that guy? Hi, Weasel. Yeah, but, like, this is, like, an example of, like... I mean, like, here's the thing is that, personally, for me, I understand it's a game. I know that, like, the damn well. And, obviously, you guys know that. But it still doesn't make it disturbing, nonetheless. And, uh... That's, I guess, a part of the horror. But, uh... It's just that, at the same time, I just want to try to, like... Respect the platform's rules that I'm on and not just literally upload everything because I can doesn't mean that I should because like I said it's fine to do it on Twitch but it YouTube really doesn't like this and since I try to upload content to both unless I want to just be Twitch exclusive for certain games um, I have to be careful with what I post sounds like I've come at an off time uh, you came at a time, Weasel, where I just saw something, uh, disturbing in the game. Uh, I can, I guess, describe it to you because it's not visual, it's different when it's described, but, uh, we did a side quest where, uh, we try to get a blueprint for a weapon, and the mission involved us tracking down a, uh, what we found out later was a cannibal that mutilated a dog, and, uh, it was there on the table and graphics so there was guts everywhere the dog body was still there it was just it was just off-putting and just kind of sad that's all
Now, chat, like I said, uh, just because some people have just joined, like, Weasel just last second here, is that going ahead into the future, um, I mean, it's always been the case, but especially now, because I didn't even notice that this was going to be in here. I, I failed to notice that. I, I didn't remember, slash, I didn't know certain missions were going to show stuff like that. I always try my best to not show graphic content on my streams or YouTube videos at the risk of, you know, just getting in trouble for whatever reason. I try to respect the rules of all the given platforms I, I be on. And I know Twitch is a lot more lenient and, and YouTube is, is not. But I upload my streams of my walkthrough games to YouTube. So unless I want to be Twitch exclusive with some games, I have to be mindful of both platforms. And uh, this was just a fluke because going ahead in the future, I don't want to like be like, okay, because I didn't die in light and I didn't get in trouble, I'm going to you know now upload games with graphic sex and graphic violence, etc. That's just why I got to be careful. That's why I haven't uploaded certain games or just certain installments in a game. So... Uh, just understand, I'm trying my best here. I'm sorry if I did disturb anybody. It's just that that was also kind of the last thing I wanted to do, given the, uh, the nature of, like, what's going on in the world right now. The last thing people need to see is a mutilated dog. Uh, this is the stadium, right? Or can I inform Tariq, or whatever the hell his name is, to get to the stadium? Because I need to find where uh, Jade is. Here, museum. Track the museum. Right? And, and so now, I've realized that it's down here. So find a underwater entrance into the Emerald Museum. And then, does it say that I can do it here? Fast travel from slums to Brecken's Tower. So I don't think I can do it from here. I think I just have to find it on my own. So find an underwater entrance to the Emerald Pond. Have I ever played the game getting over it? Uh, no, I have not, but I've seen the game and I know it's a rage game. So uh, I've seen it. It's pretty fucking funny. Why, do you want to torture me and have me play it one day? I'm open to it. Yeah, a moment of silence for the dog. It just also sucks, too, because just legitimately the dog, um... The way it was, like, killed was just pretty gruesome. And plus, also, if you're even remotely a pet lover, you feel empathy for that dog. But, uh, we will honor the dog in spirit form. That's the best we can do right now, you know? Grappling hook? You gonna work? Let's find an entrance. Do we do we find like maybe a slot in the cave here? Yeah, we do. Now, do I need to have a certain amount of HP going into this? Because I haven't upgraded my health in a while, and I don't think I can use band-aids underwater, can I? No, I can't. So there is spots where I can breathe, good. And I am going to use one band-aid just to make sure that I am at max HP, so if I do start drowning, I have a longer wait. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Museum. Yes. Here we go. I kind of used a lot of my assault rifle ammo back at the cannibal, but uh, the fucker had to die. I'm willing to spend my ammo on that asshole. I mean, Rise is fucked up, but this cannibal guy is also fucked up, so. so here we go. Rise's museum. We're going back in the water again? Alright. Like, actually, do I have pistol ammo? If I have pistol ammo, that would be even better. At least it's somewhat of ammo. Oh, actually, no, Rise's guys will probably drop ammo. Unless the rise takes my gun away again. Oh, fuck. Hi. Well, 
Well, I haven't found my drinking water. That must be fresh because there's blood everywhere. My fastest run is 426. No, you should be fine. Uh, doing this on Nightmare was so annoying because of the med kit. Since you don't have auto heal, you will have to let it regen. Yeah, that's true. I'm really glad to see the reception on this game. I'm looking forward to playing the Dying Light sequel. Uh, and thank you guys for also, for those of you guys that have played it, uh, thank you for not spoiling it so far. I appreciate that. And uh, mods, if anybody does spoil the game, uh, please try to delete it so that way I don't see their message. <laughs> Ideally, I want to go into Dying Light 2 and have it be a surprise. Dying Light 2 is nice. I'm glad because I was worried that the sequel could be hit or miss because some games lately are just uh, not that good. <laughs> and jump scare. No, I'm just kidding. Like, there's only so many modern games in the last, like, little bit that I'm actually, like, genuinely excited for. Why do you seem alive the way you're standing up? He's, like, right side up. Okay, center here? Yeah. And then climb. Come on, crane. There we go. Uh... Oh shit. Uh, this way? And then this way. I love the parkour elements in this game, I really do. It's just cool because I used to take parkour classes legitimately. Oh, run. Yeah, Crane is- I don't think- Crane's never gotten Anazin still. He's been having seizures regularly for the last little bit here. I think I know what happens here, if I'm not mistaken. I thought, I thought I was like gonna fall there. Uh, wait. Oh, I came from here, so I need to actually go this way on purpose. Uh, yes. You know, you would think that Crane would be. I mean, I get that he's trying to prioritize others, but like, you can't help others unless you help yourself. So you think he would try to get at least one dose of Anazin from the last time he had it. I think he's only ever had it the once at the beginning of the game. And we've slept how many in-game games? Like, I don't know if it's ever specifically timed, but, like, I don't know if Anna's in the story last days, hours, whatever. But, uh, in-game days, he's definitely gone a while without it. Like, Crane's gone, like, what, two weeks in-game without it, based off of how much I've slept in the game? There they are. Fuck, he sees me. It's the, uh, the pistol. Select. I have pistol ammo, right? I do, but I only have so many shots. I have 29 in the reserve and 15 in my clip. It's 44 shots, eh? Uh, I know that people have encountered uh, bugs, so I personally have had uh, the old collision error out there. I know some people have had death loops. I like to think it's mostly patched by now. It also feels strange watching you climb and stamina not going down at all. In Dying Light 2, uh, everything, everything in parkour takes down stamina except for running. Oh, really? Interesting. Shit. Alright, fuck it. Oh, sh oh shit, he like lit me up. Okay, I need to actually use my pistol. Ow, ow, that fucking hurts. I'm hoping they'll give me assault rifle ammo. Please? Yes. 
Dude, that guy's just butt just jiggled like a dumpy as soon as I started searching him. I, I got AR ammo back. Alright, Rise, where are you, you son of a bitch? This is so a boss arena, you can just tell. We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rise. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand too. Your choice. You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first. Attack! Move it, boy. Move it. Go, go, go. Last forty. Well, see, you failed to realize that your enemies are absolutely dipshits, and every time I kill them, they drop me assault rifle ammo. So, yeah, I'm gonna fucking have a field day with you guys. Is that a frag grenade? Oh shit, it was. Come here, son of a bitch. I see you. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I shot a propane tank, I think. Alright, after the AR, I got pistols, so. Stop throwing grenades, you fuckboys! That's the best you got, Rise. I could do this all fucking day. Think you're fast? I'm fast as fuck, boy. Are they upstairs? Yeah, they are. Okay, hold on, chat. We got this. Uh, they do so much damage because they're stupid. That's why. I'm not going to go down easy. Ow. Okay, I keep forgetting that they're at this hop, so I got to remember that. All right, chat. I got this. Remember, I think the AI just get frustrated. I think they jump. I'm coming for you, Jade. Yeah, they're all upstairs. How many med kits do I have? I need to know how much I'm, I have going into this inventory. Uh, inventory, inventory. Did I just use it all? Where, where are they? I can't see it. Oh, I, I, I got a scroll. Duh. Oh, I got plenty. And I got a lot of ammo in my other guns. I see him, I see him. Yeah, there we go. Fuck you. Chat, every one of these fuckboys I kill is uh, in honor of you. Oh, I'm the fucker, apparently, to them. Get better at peeking, bitch. I can see you. See, unlike clone troopers, I can actually hit my shots. Come on, where are you at, pussy boy? I can do this all goddamn day. Come on, Rise. door. Sorry, I just had to tell my parents to please keep my dogs quiet. <laughs> where the hell are these guys? Where, where am I going? Where, where do I proceed? Eliminate Rise's guards. Go to the... Oh, I already did that. Is it not the store? Is one of Rise's men upstairs and, like, I just didn't kill him? Like, is he down, but, like, he's just not dead dead? Oh, jeez. I think I gotta climb. Right? 
Wouldn't, wouldn't that be what I need to do? Here, jump. Yeah. Oh, hi. Fuck you. Hiding little bitch. Yeah, I, I don't think the shotgun wouldn't be nearly as good, um, in my uh, humble opinion. I like this assault rifle better. But I can always get the assault rifle later. I'm uh, sorry, a shotgun later. Alright. Where the hell are you, you stupid son of a bitch? Rise, where are you? Face me like a man. Rescue Jade? Wasn't I supposed to go down? Or they want me to go up here to find her? Rescue Jade. Do I climb these? Is there a way out from here? Rescue Jade. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, d duh. Yeah, the shotgun would only be so helpful here. It was probably actually better I found this. Oh, I saw that guy. I don't know why he hesitated. Although I almost have ammo, I do need to press up and get more ammo off the dead bodies. Luckily it's an auto pickup. That was close, chat. This is getting hairy. Come on, give me an opportunity. Jump. <laughs> you didn't even notice me, you dumbass! I'm gonna get these guys. Oh, there's zombies down there, though. Crap. Grappling hook is probably going to be my best bet here. Alright, do I have uh, fireworks? I, I think I never got rid of them. Do I have them in my inventory? No, I don't, I don't have them in my inventory. I think I only put them in the backpack. Shit. Alright. Chat, here's the plan. We're going to have to grappling hook onto these things somehow. And, uh... You are too exhausted, you can't use a grappling hook? Says who?! Kill them all? Alright. Fuck it! YOLO! Okay. 
Kill the inf- Oh, I have to kill the infected? Oh, good. Light them up! Unless- unless they're down here, too. Yeah, they are. Kill all the infect- So I have to kill the zombies. Light them up, boys. In fact, actually, can I even make one of the cool new weapons here? Uh, if I can, that'd be actually kind of a bonus. Wait. <gasps> I can make the god hammer! I can also make the toxic reaper! I can actually make one of the cool legendary weapons! Let's go! Chat, which one? God hammer or toxic reaper? I didn't know I could actually make- I was just joking, I was only being half serious, I had zero idea of the inventory space. Do I only- do I only need one of these weapons to make it? Is, is that why it was? Hmm. Burning and lightning and then toxic and bleeding. I wanna make the god a hammer, fuck yeah. Uh, hold on, I gotta charge my laptop battery. The Reaper specifically? Okay. We'll do the, uh, we'll do that instead. Create. Uh, do we want to do it with a with a butcher knife or a sickle? Sickle's more reaper e, so we'll do it with a with a sickle. There we go. And we've also got upgrades, so fuck yeah. Yeah, even though it's labeled as a gray, I think this is still technically a legendary. So here we go. Alright, chat. Kill them all! Ow. I should, probably should have not broken my legs, though. That That is one thing. So how strong is this? Oh, definitely strong. Yeah, so just because it's, uh... Uh-oh, he's gonna explode. So just because the weapon is gray doesn't mean it's a legend... Uh, doesn't mean it's not a legendary. It's just, uh, it's a, it's a gray weapon made into a legendary because the legendary is the blueprint. So the weapon was originally gray, but because the legendary blueprint was applied to it, the color didn't change, but the power did. Makes sense. Okay. Why are you not dying for some reason? Like, fucking die. I don't know why specifically the one dude just did not die. Cut your head off. Oh, you wanna know what? It probably it doesn't ac account to certain zombies. Dude, this weapon's breaking really fast. Oh, I only had to kill these zombies. Good. Fix the weapon. Jade! Jade? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What have they done um, to you? Fine, Crane. To hear knocked me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just... Give me a minute. Jade, you're bitten. Oh, I'll be right as rain. You see that? You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, her leg that you have, you owe to me. Thanks to your repair of my antennas, Crane, I've listened to every word any of you have said. How do you suppose I found you, Miss Aldemir? Or the good doctor Camden? 
How do you think I broke the connection between the sectors? I am the director of this field. And now that I have Zera's research, the GRE will do as I command, which renders the two of you useless. Tahir! Oh, shit. All right, chat, we're up against a fucking horde of these guys. This is gonna suck. These are all the viral guys. These are the ones that run fast as shit and dodge and fucking Matrix crap. Shit, well, they already know I'm here, so fuck it. We're going guns a blazing. Murka, bitch! Chat, let's spam some hype. We gotta save Jade. Why are these ones a lot more aggressive, particularly? The ones near Jade. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Back up, back up. Switch to a pistol. Pistol, 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 pistol. This has actually ammo in it. Select. Pistol. Jade, I got you. I'm out of ammo. Come on, Jade, let's get out of here. Jade, we gotta go. Oh, Jade, are Jade, are you hurt? Did they didn't bite you, did they? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet little Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from me. Fighter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. Once again, you find yourself with a choice, Crane. Your precious scorpion is about to turn. But so are you. Who will receive the antidote? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Jade, here. You take this. No! Oh, come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane, I just want you to promise me one thing. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. What? No, I... Promise me! Jade, I, I can't. Yeah, I, I'm I'm to the point where I, I need Anzin just as badly as her. Jade, god damn it, I hate this decision. It's not even a decision, I can't even stop what's gonna happen. Jade? I need you to hear me, Crane. Crane, Crane, can you hear me? Yeah, we're both Crane and Jade are on the border of no return almost. Jade, where are you? Jade? It's like a maze or a labyrinth. Why well, do I feel like I gotta go this way? Hear you. I'm listening for you the whole time. Not everybody would have offered that vial the way you did. Unnoticed. Was I supposed to notice something? But it's too late for that now. It's too late for me. This reminds me of when I played Spider-Man. This like warped world. A random kid playing down there. <sighs> Come on, Jade. For a while, I blamed you for Amir's death. I wanted to kill you. I had no idea she wanted to go as far as killing me. 
But I realized it was time for Amir. It was time for him to go. deny it. It's pointless. Where the heck is that kid going na na na? Oh! I almost fell off the uh, imaginary landscape. We get here, and eventually we die. There's nothing we can do to change that. I'm just trying to let the dialogue play, that's why I'm not talking as much. Queen, save these people. They don't deserve all of this. Come on, Crane. Hang in there, buddy. And now he's gone. Rahim's life counted. And now he's gone. I'm supposed to climb the tower? My life, me saving everyone in her arms. Then that's what I want to do. <laughs> my dreams be like, what type of dreams are you on? What type of drugs are you having? Uh oh. And that's the end of the cutscene. Oh, or wait, no, I was supposed to live. Oh, I, I, I guess I was supposed to make a jump for it. I don't know why I randomly just died. I run. This is ironically good parkour practice. I was born premature. The doctors didn't think I was going to live, but I fought. I struggled and I fought and I worked and worked and worked. I became a champion. I became the Scorpion. I left my mark on the world. It's my time now, Crane. You can't save me. You've got to let me save you. Let me save you. Not again. Jade. God damn it. Oh no. Oh, Jade, what was that? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. One of us has to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this I was killing her. Still you had your choice made for you. Disappointing, Craig. She called me Kyle. You, you and you. Get in there and kill them. What the fuck is wrong with you, you sick fuck? Why does it matter? Are you upset because daddy didn't hold you enough? What like is it you are you upset because Jade actually cares for Crane? I'm gonna fucking kill all of you now. Or Jay will just destroy all of you. 
You go, girl! Kick them ass! Kick their ass! Uh oh. She's to no return. Fuck you, you sadistic bastard! I would like to see you goddamn try it. Rise, I get my hands on you again, you are fucked beyond belief. You Americans don't know when to quit, do you? No, we don't. And that's a good thing, you fucking idiot. Wait, do I only get my one machete? Come on, bring it, you little fucking bitch! Come on to here. Get my stamina. Oh, I'm also not able to heal though, I noticed. Alright, fine. Bring it, fuck boy! Can I also wait. Your belongings have been taken from you. They're in your stash. This is not taken from me though. I can upgrade my, my character. I can upgrade him. Kicking during a slide breaks enemy's legs. Can I do that on him? Or can I just increase my drop kick level? Ooh, I wanna I do I wanna do one of these. Let, let's increase drop kicks. That way I can drop kick the shit out of this guy. Yeah, I like broke his skull basically with that one. Ow. Shit, I have 2 HP. At least I can get my HP back to 35. Come on, chat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would hurt getting machete in your nipples. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that would hurt. Oh, sorry. Did I stab you too hard? Here, let me fix that.
The wor it was the fog, but I'm not gonna say it was the fog. You know, just because I don't want to sound like that guy, I'm just gonna keep doing it. At least it also saved me a checkpoint, that's nice. Come on. Come on, you. Oh, this is the big guy. That's why he was always taking so long to hit. My weapon's breaking. That was the problem. What's wrong, buddy? You seem to like you're tripping, hmm? You scared? Wasn't playing on it, AI. Maybe you're always encouraged me to quit because you know I'm not gonna stop. Maybe that scares you, bots, hmm? Hmm? Oh shit, they actually got a really good combo on me there. I think I blew one of them up. I can't even see this guy. Do I have a flashlight? No, I don't. I, I can't see him. Come on. like one hit. Come on, you son of a bitch! I think I killed him by stabbing him in the dick. Crane is, he's come so far, man. Like legitimately, it breaks my heart to hear his, like the voice acting behind K Crane is amazing. Just saying like, oh, this guy's still alive. But like the fact that like you can hear Crane's voice break when he said that Jane, Jade, sorry, Jade saved his life again. Like he knows he fucked up and yet she still cared for him. That and that he couldn't save her just breaks my heart, man. But he's still a fucking badass and he must go on to honor her. 
So fuck you guys. Can I get my stash while they're attacking me because it's single player? Yeah, I can. I can just cheese them and just pick up all my shit. Oh wait, this is this is my everything slot. Oh, I don't want to take everything, everything. I just want to take only some stuff. I had no idea it was literally going to give me everything. Uh, I kept my... No, I, I didn't keep everything. He did literally take everything out of storage. Let me make sure I, I take everything I need. I gotta slowly but surely take all my stuff back, so just give me a sec, chat. But yeah, like, legitimately though, I mean, like... <sighs> See, that's the thing, is Crane just was trying to do his best, and then, you know, his boss fucked him over, Rise fucked him over, and to a certain degree, he even fucked himself over, and it's just, like, he's wanted to do nothing but the right thing. Thank you, uh, a fleshy mammal. Somebody just dropped a follow, actually. Uh, who was that? Uh, Rip... Uh, GN World, uh, GN World, as I believe how you want me to pronounce your name, uh, at least that's how I'm reading it, actually, like, uh, but hi, uh, GN World, how are you? Thank you for the, uh, follow, and thank you for watching Dying Light here today, uh, let me know how you are down below in the chat if you want to speak, uh, if not, though, and you're just simply watching just to watch, by all means, you're welcome to watch, uh, but yeah, man, like, this game... I, I legitimately feel so bad for, uh, wait, oh, take all items, not a occupying backpack slots. That was actually something I could have hit that. There we go. Um, but it, like, yeah, like, I just feel bad for Crane, man. Like legitimately, like he's just trying to do nothing but the right thing. And he, he got fucked over so many different times. Which is why... The only thing we can do is what everyone does in this world, which is just continue to try to do the right thing, so. Uh. So how many things do I have? I have... Shetty, sword, police rifle, Noam Shansky, pistol. I can take I can put the camo rifle back. Flying squirrel suit, the military, throwing knives, the grappling hook, the UV light, and the liquid. So I got my 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 keys with like one, like the rotating all my equipment and stuff, and I've got my one assault rifle, my one pistol, my two melee weapons. I would like one more melee weapon. Where is my uh sickle? Here we go. Now I got all my melee weapons and I have everything extra is just the weapons and the equipment, right? Which I don't think I need anymore after a certain point. Yeah, I'm good. So yeah, you guys are fucked. Like, actually, I'm just gonna kick you into the goddamn, uh, truck. Why not? Come on. Damn it, he killed me. Fuck! Mm. Can I kill those guys? I wanna, I wanna kill them. I wanna kill them so bad. Damn it, they despawn. God damn it. Oh well. It's not a big deal. Jade and I are both infected, and Rice made us fight for Antizin. She. 
She let me have it. Sacrificed her life for me. And when she turned, I... I had to put her out of her misery. First Raheem, now Jade. I swear I'm gonna fucking make Rice pay.